This is the Kether mod, and it's a pretty fantastic mod so far from what I've seen. It's still an alpha, and it was made by... Yeah, that person right there. And, yeah. Um, it's really big, so I won't be able to show you all of the recipes, but I will show you a great ton of what this mod has to offer, and... Yeah, it's a lot. Let's get started with it. Alright, so let's start off with the blocks that this mod has to offer. Here's some Kether Dirt, Kether Cloud. Um, with this, you cannot walk through it, but you can stand on two blocks of it, but not one. And the transparency goes away. It becomes less transparent the more like clouds you have behind it. So, yeah. And here's some Kether Planks, Kether Stone, Scrabble Stone, Scrappy Stone, Scrappy Brick, Carved Scrappy Brick, Kether Cobblestone, Kether Stone Panel, Kether Stone Square, Kether Enchanted Stone Brick, Kether Mossy Stone, Kether Glow Brick, Kether Yellow, Kether Blue, Kether Red, and Kether Stone Brick. And you can find a lot of these like in dungeons. Like, I know that one of the dungeons have this as, like, the thing, um, making a mess. But, yeah, these are all found in the Kether Realm, and, yeah. Alright, here are the gems that you can find in the Kether Realm. Um, here's the Lons Daliot gem, or, and, block. I'm sorry if I, like, destroyed that name. Um, here's the Topaz ore, block, and gem, the ruby and the sapphire. These all can be used to make various tools and armor for this mod and I know that this one, I'm not sure if all of them can be used for energy later on, I'll tell you about that, but yeah, here are all the stuff you can make with cool, yeah, mmm. Alright, so I took it upon myself to grow in one of these trees. This is a kether tree. They come in various shapes and sizes like normal Minecraft trees. Um, these are also the different flowers that come in with the mod. Um, I'm sorry about this texture. I don't, I don't know what's happening here. Um, but this flower, it's used, it's a healing flower, so it's used to heal you. But, um, these flowers right here, I didn't mean to pick up dirt yes um these kether flowers they have different colored names they drop essences which are used as dye for special blocks or ammunition for wands i'll show you the ones later on and these um yeah they look like little mushrooms they're pretty dang cute and these flowers are just used for like decoration yeah pretty much so if you want to just like decorate your home with them, then you can, because, yeah. Also, these are the, aw, they grew, but this is the blue fruit. I tried to show you like the different growing stages, but they will make you not hungry for very long. So you can find these in the ground, in the cather, and these are crystals um you can stand on them i'm not really sure what they're used for but they look pretty dang fancy i think you can find them underground i'm not very sure uh i didn't really see anything on the forms but this is um lons daliot uh probably destroyed that name again log and yeah they look like they have diamond in them, but I'm pretty sure that they don't. And this is what the Kether tree, sam uh, bleh, Kether tree sapling looks like, and here are the flowers. Alright, over here are the special items. Well, this is just a section of them. But, um, here are the yellow flower essences and the blue and the red ones. These are used as ammunition you can get them from the flowers that i showed you down there the ones that were like triangle shaped 
yeah and here are the wands you can get these from two bosses that i will tell you about later on um there's the red kether one i'll get this and the blue one and the yellow one and the kether one and here's the legendary magic one and the gravity one sorry i kind of have to sneeze um and the gravity one was just recently added in so i have no idea what it does but i will show you guys in a second and yeah you can get all these wands from the bosses there are two bosses that you can fight in the kether realm and yeah let me show you what these mod uh, uh what these wands do <laughs> okay so i came over here where i have some very valuable and precious test subjects where i can test these wands up um and yeah well to start off these wands they are just ordinary ones obviously but they do take ammunition like a gun does and the more you use the wand the less ammunition you have so the yellow goes with the yellow one red with the red and blue with the blue but these so far i don't think you need these like for ammunition because i was using it and i didn't need ammunition but yeah so no ammunition for the last two but the red one the red kether one um shoots out fire so yeah you can just set everything on fire uh, 360 quick scope no scope yy ficky ficky ladder shot so with the blue wand um this just like hits it so far from what i've seen you just slap him oh no school. And yeah, the yellow wand, it does a lot more. It, yeah, it shoots down lightning. So, um, you could just shoot everything. But, like, and I think this is in regular Minecraft. If you strike a pig with lightning, then it'll turn into a zombie pigman. Yay! Um, yeah, so you can just, like, rain tear on your world and destroy animals yay fun and the kether wand you need kether energy so let me get some of that this is kether energy um the clearest energy in the world evidently so let me just put some of that in there right there okay so oh i did not mean to do that but with this it just shoots them like two hits them one hit to hit it's just super strong and I like the animation when you shoot things because it looks really cool it makes me feel really strong and yeah and the legendary magic wand with this you get two different types of like magic there's well I just changed it to nothing and you can change it to the fire spell and if you right click on an animal or whatever you want to fight it'll it'll set him on fire yeah die Cha. and so yeah ooh i got cooked pork chops and then yeah you could just go around slaying stuff yeah um and the other um spell that you can use is the froze spell so say that i hit this piggy piggy run run Okay, so see how it's moving? If I don't want it to move anymore, I can just uh, right click it and it'll stop. And then I'll hit it again and then it'll freak out. And I'll be like, bam, it'll stop even though it really wants to move. Yeah, and it'll just go back to moving. It stops the pigs for like, I'm gonna say like three seconds and then it'll go. Um, by the way, you can hit like any mob with it and it'll stop. I just have pigs as my like test subject. Yeah, so it'll freeze them for about three seconds and then they'll move again. Yeah, the next wand is the gravity wand. And like I said before, I had never used this. So when I did, I was, I was like, what? So yeah, it does this. What? If you right click it, sorry, I have my mouse buttons inverted, so. If you left click animals, that's how you hit them, but for me it's right click, but 
for you, it'll be right click, oh god, I'm going so high. And if you right click again, then you'll fall. And I presume that you will take fall damage. I'm not sure, let's see. Pretty sure you will. Ooh, I'm gonna eat this. It's loud. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you do take fall damage. Yep. Dang it. I died again. Alright, and on this side of the wall is some more special items. Um, this is the triple question mark. Um, you can use this in the game to spawn in items that are from the mod. Hold on, let me change the time of day so it's bright. And yeah, it'll just give you items like right then I would have gotten a Kether yellow wand. You can get this from the cave guardian. Here's Kether energy. This can be crafted and use it, uh, used for the Kether wand like I showed just a second ago. Um, dark energy, this can be achieved or required from the cave guardian and the stone devourer um this is a kether statue this can be achieved or whatever you want to call it from the demon eye this is the demon eye summoner it summons the demon eye here's the kether key this can be required from the acquired from the cave guardian and here is the kether portal lighter which will be used to light this portal up right here and this is the portal for the kether i love its look like it looks very clean and it's all my favorite color so um yeah i just i love the way this looks props to you props to you mod developer props to you and yeah let me show you the armor and weapons here is the sapphire stuff you can make a sword and yeah um sorry for the like weirdness but here's the sapphire stuff the topaz the ruby and the lonsdaliot stuff um and do you have gills how is the fire how is the fire does not burn and the leggings and painless fall so i'm saying uh i'm getting the impression that this has enchantments on it so like fire protection um water breathing and feather falling um yeah and this all is stronger than the last no just the lons daliot stuff is stronger than everything else um also, here are the jump boots and the Hermes boots. The jump boots, um, <laughs> what the fuck with me? Um, okay, um, sorry. The jump boots, those are used to jump higher. Um, I think you jump at least four blocks higher, which is awesome. And here are the Hermes boots. Wait, let me just take these off. Hermes boots, they give you speed and jump boost for eh, 20 seconds, but you can run faster and yeah, I'm like Sanic, Sanic the Hedgehog, Sanic, but yeah, that's basically it, let me see if this runs out or restarts, yes, it runs out and yeah, that's about it, you can get these from the... <clears throat> Um, Demon Eye, and you can get the jump boots from the Cave Guardian. Pretty cool. I like that you added this in, and yeah. Oh, wait. I still have speed, that's why. Okay, so in here is Kether Crocodile Leather. Um, not so sure how this is obtained or what it's used for, but if it is, I'll show a recipe right here. Um, here is Kether crocodile tooth um it's obtained from crocodiles probably um here's a piece of cloth this is obtained from the lost uh, losty ghost or i'm sorry if i'm saying that wrong and here's full cloth um yeah recipes um here's weed i showed you how you can get this and you can make a joint recipe um small wings and 
wings and all right now here is the energy converter in the energy converter all you need is a energy crystal and it says uh, 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 accumulated energy zero so with the energy crystal you can accumulate accumulate energy Jesus take the wheel with that word um, by just converting it so an energy converter you can convert your items into energy which is accumulated in energy crystals like I said in the future you'll be able to enchant items using that energy so that'll be cool um, also it says on the forums if you destroy that block your accumulated energy would be removed uh, could be removed um, ruby gem sapphire topaz diamond and dark energy equals one energy C um, which is this one energy crystal so um, question marks golden apples and Lons Daliot gems equals two Cather energy equals three energy crystals equal five and crystals equal nine and there's another ingot that hasn't been put into the mod yet but it's the adamantium ingot and that'll equal 35 but like I said before this is still an alpha so yeah expect a lot of new things okay so um, this is kind of awkward but I couldn't go through the portal before and I crashed so I had to wait for the mod developer to fix that problem and he added in the new stuff so let me just go over the bleh, go over the new stuff here's Malachite I'm sorry if I destroyed that name but here's like the the gem it's just Malachite here's the tile the block and the ore um, here's Adamite um, or Adam Adium to I I'm, I'm sorry I can't even but this is the least frequently occurring ore in the cather so yeah this is pretty rare here's the block here's the ore you can make armor out of this um, you also can make tools and a sword which is all a lot stronger than the others I think it's stronger than diamond also I know the sword is um, you also can make cotton candy, and here's cloud dust, that's new too. Um, he also added in blue leaves for the cabbage trees, so yeah, that's awesome. But the most important part would probably be this. Here's the energy converter. As you can see, I've already went over it, but I've been letting this go and I've accumulated five energy and in here is the energy enchanter which is like I said before used to allow you to enchant some items using the energy that you've accumulated into the crystals so what you can enchant would be a kether wand which costs 200. You also need coal to enchant. Uh, where's the coal? Nope. All right, you also need coal because that's kind of what fuels it. Um, so what you do is you put the coal here, put what you want to enchant there. It costs 200. If you, I think you might be able to enchant other things actually. Um, <laughs> oh yes. No, only the Kether wand. So all you would do is put it in there. It costs 200. I obviously don't have 200. But um, what you would need is like 200 in here. And it would fuel this and it enchant. But yeah, I don't have 200. So. <laughs> and what it would enchant to is a legendary magic wand and I already showed you what that would do okay guys now before we go into the, uh, the, the realm um, 
I'm gonna show you the mobs that are there. Here is the Dementor, which, oh my god, it's terrifying. I can't spawn here because it's daylight, but I'll spawn it again some other time, and it's huge. Here's the Stone Devourer. Um, it sounds like a pig, which is cute, but weird. Um, here's the Kether Boar. That sounds like a piggy, um, which is, well, logical. Um, here's the Eyebright. Um, you cannot spawn this because it's daytime also. It has to be spawned at night, but I'll show you that again. Here's the Demon Eye. Um, yeah, it has balls. <laughs> and it flies, and it's kind of terrifying. Um, here's the Morph. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's so cute, but it's so evil. It's like beating up the sheep, um, which is kind of weird, and it moves pretty fast. Oh my god, you're so cute. You're the cutest thing I've ever seen. But anyways, um, a pink sheep. Um, here is the lame. This is like the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's so weird. I love it. And it like runs really fast. Um, here's the losty ghost. They cannot survive during the day. This is nighttime mob. Um, it will attack you by the way. Um, yeah, they die in daytime. Maybe this will help them. Um, yeah, they're they're pretty spooky. They do say so themselves. Um, yeah, they hurt you. Um, here are the other things. Uh, by the way, that demon eye was obviously a boss. Um, but here is the Kether crocodile. You get crocodile stuff from it, and it sounds like a zombie which is weird i'm gonna spawn that in a second because its noise is hella annoying um here is the flying boar that's where you get the wings and stuff and you can mount them and you can yeah the boars are cute um here's the Catholic butterfly which i think is adorable oh but i can't there's there it goes but yeah the butterflies butterflies sorry um Oh, they're so cute. And they're gone. You free. Um, and last but not the uh, last but not least, here is the second boss, which is the cave guardian. I'm going to have to move super fast because its noise is hella annoying. Ugh. Uh, it sounds like a gas and weirdness. Um, it looks terrifying. Sounds terrifying. It is terrifying. Um, I can move super duper far away from it and I will still hear it. It's terrible. I hate it. <laughs> I'll be like over here and I'll still hear it. Yeah, see? No, I hate that. Oh my gosh. Ugh. But anyways, let me take you guys into the Kether realm. Here we go. Okay, oh yeah, before I um, go to the Kether realm, let me just show you the Dementor. Ah, uh, bless my soul. Um, yeah, it's freaking huge. Uh, yeah, it flies, it's terrifying. Um, no bueno, get away from me. Uh, yeah. It only spawns at night. It's obviously hostile since it's like freakishly terrifying. And yeah, the mentor. Okay guys, now it's time to go through the Kether. Oh, it looks like the bat wants to too. Um, by the way, you can spawn in slimes now. It's been fixed so you don't crash. But anyways, let's go in here. Um, I'll tell you why I have the items in a second. When you go through the Kether portal and you get into this area you will f like feel the lag but just let it set in and it should be gone just give it like a minute or two here's what it looks like there are slimes the boars the little mushrooms they're so cute the flowers everything it just looks really fancy all of that up there those are the clouds but yeah 
So I've been sheep. I've been digging around, as you can see. But you'll find things like this. Um, I couldn't find anything in there. But if you go in here, um, depends on which part you go into. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this, where you have to dig around and stuff and look for it. If it is, that's cool, but man, it sucks. But anyways, when you come in here, or wherever you find this, there should be a chest, or at least I found one, but this one contained nothing in it, which sucks, because I did all that digging. But yeah, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. It doesn't really say on the forums, but if you find something, props to you. And on my way of looking around earlier, I found this. Uh, last time I spawned into something kind of like this. I don't know if it's supposed to be down here or not, like under the entire thing. Um, but that's how it happened. You might find this somewhere else. Uh, I expect you to, at least, because I don't know how you would get to this. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be up there. But, yeah, <clears throat> you'll come into here and you'll, I think this is supposed to be a dungeon. This is where I found all of this loot right here. All the joints and the Kepler wands and the question mark thingy and jump boots. Yeah, that's where I found all of that. And, yeah, I'm thinking that's a dungeon. I don't know. Or... Oh, I think that's the cave that the cave guardian is in. Yes, that makes more sense. But I could be wrong. It doesn't really say on the forums, or at least I couldn't find it. Um, here's the tree life, the life tree. On the thing, it says the tree life, I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, you don't have to create a new world if you're updating the old one, by the way, to get all of this stuff. Just to let you know, um, you can find gift blocks here. Gift blocks, they, it's the main block in the whole Kether. Um, from folding gifts, depends on satisfaction. When the satisfaction is high, you're getting some extras, like more gems, more ores, etc. So, you just, I think, and it, yeah, to put stuff in there, I'll put you the picture because it's kind of technical, but then again, not really, but I don't know how I could explain it to the point where you can understand. Satisfaction decreases slowly, um, so you have to give gifts. Like, yeah, or the satisfaction will decrease. Um, if satisfaction is higher than 5,000, you can get cloud dust by destroying clouds, and it's used to craft cotton candy. So, yeah, that's what the cotton candy was, is made. You get cloud dust, and you can destroy clouds. Yeah. But, yeah, and it'll just, yeah, the satisfaction's here. If you want to download it, the mod... Um, forms in the description. I'm sorry if I sound nasally. I'm like really really sick and It sucks and I'm sorry if this feels rushed at the end. I'm like really really sick. It sucks But yeah mods in the description check this mod out I'm thinking about putting it in my modded survival series once I start that up trying to get everybody together and the mods But that's besides the point um,